Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's Elyonja. How are you guys doing? I hope you're having a great day, a great weekend, or whenever you're watching this. Today I have kind of a funny video for you guys. This was such a fun idea. I don't even know. I got this lovely comment a few days ago from It's Me Cameron Lay and she said, Eliandra, I have an idea. Maybe you could try recreating all of The Sims on the thumbnail of The Sims 4. You know, the family on the cover of Sims 4. No, Cece, love you. I love you too, Cameron. Um, I did use CZ for this, <laughs> but yeah, that's where I got the idea from. I thought it would be fun to try to recreate all of The Sims in The Sims 4 box art, which is a cover of The Sims 4, which is this render right here. You guys all know it. You guys have seen it everywhere. So I am recreating all these Sims from scratch, kind of in my own style, while still trying to make them look like The Sims and also trying to keep, you know, the clothes very similar. So I'm still using the same colors, etc. And I wanted to use CC because if I went no CC, I would have probably just just like, you know, use the exact clothes that the Sims were already wearing. So I don't feel like that was such a challenge. I wanted to make them more kind of like if I had created the Sims 4 cover. <laughs> so yeah, we are creating all eight of them. Oh my goodness, this goes kind of quickly. I did cut out some bits because obviously we're doing eight Sims. It takes me a while to create a Sim, but we're starting off with June K. They all do have names, you guys. So this is June K. I did not have a, like um, a hairstyle that was anything close to the hair that she has and it had to be ombre with pink as well So this is the closest that I had. I think she looks absolutely stunning with this and she's just she's so cool I love June so much. So I think I mean she doesn't look so much like the original June but I still think I did her justice and you know the hair I just don't really have hairs like that unfortunately her hair was really cool now it's a bit it's a bit less crazy bit toned down and I'm gonna show you guys pictures of the originals as well on the screen if I can find them so you guys get to see what the original characters look like. And you guys recognize these sims. These are the default sims you can get in Create a Sim when you first start like a new game. You go into Create a Sim, like you have a random sim there. Very often it's one of these guys. But they are, most of them, six of these guys are in your personal gallery where you can download them from. And then a few of them you can download from, I think Sim Guru Zephyr or Sim Guru, oh, I don't remember, somewhere from the gallery, I forgot now. That's where <laughs> I think they're from. But yeah, um, and they do have like personality traits, etc. They're on the Sims full wiki. So I got their aspirations and traits from there. And this one here is Andre De Silva. I think he's really cool. I think I made him a lot cooler than he was. <laughs> I think I made him like a real hipster. Not really sure what his personality is supposed to be, but I kept the glasses. I just changed them up a little bit gave him a little bit of a different beard like I did these sims in a way that I tried to make their face look exactly like the original sim and then I would change their face a teeny little bit to look more like my sims because a lot of these sims don't look like anything I would ever create they just have such different face shapes or something that I never go for so I just changed them up a little bit but here is Andre isn't he such a hipster I don't know I love his tattoos uh I, I gave him one cc tattoo I I only had one arm CC tattoo and one of them is from the one of the game backs or something. I don't even remember, but I did also give him the like big ear piercings because he did already have his ears pierced, but I gave him the, I forgot what they're called now, but you know, when you're like stretching them, I forgot what they are. <laughs> Anyways, we're moving on to the elderly woman in the thumbnail or not in the thumbnail, in the render, in the cover, books are whatever you're going to call it. Her name is Gladys Moores and she's on the gallery with her roommate um Ver it was his name is his name Vernon oh, I forgot what his name is oh my goodness I think it's Vernon yeah this guy they have the same last name but it's a bit unclear what their relationship is because they only come out like if you download them they're only roommates but I think they're married 
I don't think they are related because in the trailers you can see <laughs> them kind of getting together. She is, this this woman is kind of wild. She's older. I think she's kind of a cougar. She's definitely looking for love. She might have the serial romantic aspiration as well. She was also kind of hard to do. I could not find an outfit for her because she's wearing like the OG grandma outfit with a long flowery dress and a pink cardigan over it. I could not find anything like that and obviously I was trying not to use the exact same clothes that they had so she ends up, she ends up wearing like a blue cardigan and pink underneath and it's not CC. It's one of the outfits from Sims 4 City Living. I just thought it, w it was the best one for her. I tried so many things you guys. I did cut some of it out but I just couldn't find anything that was anywhere close to what she had. But yeah, this is my go at Gladys. I gave her different glasses as well. She's kind of a cool grandma, although I'm not sure if she has kids, but you know, she's an, an elderly woman. This is um the outfit that we go for. It's pink and blue, you know, similar colors to what she was already wearing, just kind of reversed. And I gave her some jewelry, some heels. Yes, she has a serial romantic aspiration. Oh my goodness. Yeah, she was a lot of fun, but... I don't know, I feel like she didn't turn out as good as most of them. Next up, we are making her probably husband then. I think it must be her husband because they have the same last name and they are not, they're not related. So I think his name is Vernon. I'm not really sure, I think that's what it was. There were actually three Sims out of these eight that I wasn't really that familiar with to begin with. Like I know a lot of these Sims, I've done tiny makeovers on them, etc. But these two, Gladys and Vernon, and then the last Sim, Steve, I didn't know what their names were until I looked them up. So. Oh my god, is it Vernon or did I just pick that like make that up? Also, probably pronouncing it wrong. <laughs> but he looks super grumpy on the cover of The Sims 4. He looks like a businessman and he's just he doesn't look too happy. So I changed him up a little bit and I think I gave him like um like a stubble almost. And we did just go with some random suit outfit that I have in my game. It's from some pack I didn't really have. I mean, I haven't really downloaded any CC suits or anything. I think this one is from, where is it from? I can't tell. From some pack, you know, but it was blue. I think he still looks a lot like the same on the cover. And yeah, his face was a lot more squished than I always make my Sims faces. I feel like I tend to give my Sims really big faces and kind of round faces. And him and Gladys both have kind of squished faces. So I did change about the tiny little bit to look more like my Sims. He has the fabulously uh, wealthy aspiration. And yes, his name is Vernon. Vernon, not Vernon, Vernon. How do you say that? Oh my god, I can't say that. That's so bad. Anyways, that was him. We're halfway there. You guys, we're creating Babs some more. Maybe the most famous out of the eight in the cover. You know, the girl with the blonde or the yellow hair. Her name is Babs. And I think she was the hardest one to create. I don't know what it was. I was looking at a picture of her and I was trying to create her as a sim. But the sim just wasn't looking like her at all. Not sure what I did wrong, but for some reason I just couldn't make her look like Babs. I think she looks absolutely adorable in the end. She's so, so cute and pretty. She just doesn't look that much like Babs, but you know, this is my version of her. And I did give her this this blonde hair color instead of the yellow one. I just personally don't like the yellow hair color in The Sims 4. I think it looks very fake. So I always use this one. I think this one's a little cuter. I was just looking for some hair that was the same length that she already had. This one has a parting on the other side or like on the side. It's not the same, but I thought it was close enough and it was so cute on her. Then she has her makeup on and I wanted to give her an orange top like she has on the render and some denim shorts and cowboy boots. She's such a fun character. She starts off as a bartender and then she gets married to Ollie Perdue, who is the next thing who we are making and she becomes um, a novelist. So a writer, I think I think she's such a fun character and I would like love to play as her as well So this is Babs and yeah, she's really cool. She does have I think she also has the serial romantic um, Aspiration, but in one of the Sims 4 trailers you can see her getting married settling down with Ollie and also having kids So yeah, she does find her love, but I guess it just takes her a while to finally find her dream man Which is who we're creating now so this is Ollie. I think he's a painter. He's definitely an artist 
of some kind. He was also kind of hard to create and he has this cap or this hat that's like his signature hat and I don't have any CC hats like that and I didn't want to use the same hat so that was giving me some trouble but I ended up going with just the beanie. I think I made him look a little bit cooler and also <laughs> a little bit younger than he is supposed to be but I think he turned out okay in the end. He has a very similar outfit. I have a CC jacket that's very similar to what he was wearing. I think he's very cool. I really wanted to give him a beard or a stubble. I thought he looked so good in one, but since he didn't have one originally, I didn't give him one, but I think he's a cutie. I do like him a lot. <laughs> this video is crazy. I don't even know. Like this was, this thing, oh my God, the thumbnail took me ages to do. Holy heck. And I tried to find poses for all the Sims that they would be in the same pose than they are in the render. Obviously, I don't know how to create poses for Sims. I never learned. I don't think it's super simple. So I couldn't recreate the exact same poses. So I just used whatever poses I had and went for the closest ones that kind of look like like they were doing the same pose. I think I did okay, it's not the best, but you know, it is if me, if me, Aleandra, created the Sims for a box art, that's what it would look like. <laughs> I don't know, it's also like a CC version of all these Sims. Next up, we will be creating, oh yeah, Cassidy. So she is actually Ollie's sister. So this is Cassidy Purdue. She is so cool as well. She has like red spiky hair. Again, I don't have hairs like that in my game. I just haven't seen a lot of hairs like that from CC creators, really short hairs for women, etc. What did I end up going with? Oh yeah, I end up going with this really gorgeous hair that it's a lot different, but I feel like it still looked similar, like the shape of it. The red is a little bit darker than the red she had, which is a shame, but I think it's really cool and it really suits her. She was also really hard to create. She, I don't think she looks that much like the original Cassidy. Something about her face, I'm not sure what it was. Also, the red eyebrows, I don't really know. She also had crazy makeup on, like originally. Her makeup is all over the place. I tried to still give her like, you know, a smudged, <laughs> like a smoky eye, but it just wasn't looking too great on her. So I'm not a fan of how her makeup and everything turned out. For her outfit, she was wearing a blue denim jacket with some red jeans and a white top underneath. So I gave her uh, a denim vest with some red jeans and a white shirt underneath, you know? I thought she ma it made her look a little bit cooler. She's definitely, I think she's a bit edgy. I think she's very cool. I don't think her previous look did her justice. I think she is um, a music lover. Is that her aspiration? I think her aspiration is the musical. Or is it the writing one? No, it's the musical one. She's creative, she's a music lover, and she's a loner. She's an edgy girl. She's really cool. I really like Cassidy, and I have given her a towny makeover in the past, which turned out so cool as well, so make sure you go check out those videos as well. And this is the last sim out of the group. This is Steve Fogel. He was one of the other guys whose name I didn't know beforehand. I don't know why, I just never really run into it anywhere. He's so funny, I don't know. Just with his cap and his belly and his <laughs> flip flops, I think he's so cool, I don't know. And I almost forgot to give him his beard, his signature beard. I don't know how I forgot, I just, I made it by his face and then I moved on to <laughs> his body and then I was like, wait, he looks weird. Oh yeah, his beard. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thought it was fun. I don't even know if you have any other fun, silly ideas for me to do in Creator Sim or anything else, you can leave them down below in the comments. And if you want to download my versions of the characters of the render for The Sims 4, you can find them on the gallery under my username, which is EliandraYT or under the hashtag Eliandra. All of the CC is linked down below in my Tumblr. Um, wait, all the all the CC is on my Tumblr, which is linked down below. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day. And definitely let me know which one of these guys was your favorite and how well do you think I did. Oh, and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you're new here, consider subscribing as well. I post new videos pretty much every single day. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye. This